Databricks has just upped their visualization game. I mean, they've always had visualizations that scale wonderfully, they don't need extracts and they don't need separate servers to run, but now they're really doubling down on ease of use and sharing. First of all, there's a low code option. No need to generate SQL queries for each of my visualizations. Once I've added data, I can head back to the main canvas. Now I could start clicking around from scratch, but what I'm actually going to do is add a visualization and use the AI assistant to roughly describe what I want. It's not quite what I'm after, and I can continue to either prompt the AI into what I want, or I can continue developing by using these buttons on the side. I can pick which data to use if I'm using more than one data set. I can pick the visualization type, my axis, and any groupings. Now for filters, I can add them to a dashboard and I don't need to go back and rework my existing visualizations, a dramatic improvement on the old dashboards. You can also see how much faster it is to run. We're using cached versions of the data, so no need to rerun things every time that you make a change. If you want more control to join your data sets, don't worry, you can still use queries and do this in the data tab. Now here's one I made and published earlier, which looks much better, and I want to show off my work. When it comes to sharing, these Lakeview dashboards are a game changer. If I want everyone to see what I can, I can embed my credentials. If I don't want to share with everyone, and I want to keep it to only people who can already see the data, I won't. Now if I've set up Unified Login, which I haven't, I can share with anyone in my organisation whether they've got access to Databricks or not. But maybe I want to share outside my organisation, or maybe I want to save recipients a few clicks. Instead, I could schedule this to run and then subscribe people or groups to receive an emailed version as a PDF. One last thing with sharing, you can export your data to a JSON file, meaning you can finally move your dashboards between workspaces, and there's a host of APIs to help you with that. If you want to get started, go to the dashboard icon on the left-hand side, create a Lakeview dashboard, or even try using the upgrade tool. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot data in AI, follow for more.